Hi guys, welcome to Bargains with Love. Today I'm going to tell you what sold out of my Quick Lots mystery box that I bought about 30 days ago. Have you ever bought the mystery box? Well, I did. And about 30 days ago, I did a video about unboxing a mystery box from Quick Lots. If you haven't seen my video, please click on the link. I will leave it in the description below. And please let me know in the comments if you ever bought a mystery box from Quick Lots, wholesale liquidation company or not, or if you ever bought the mystery box from any other uh, online source. Just let me know how that went. So today I wanted to show you what I sold in 30 days out of this mystery box. Um, I'm going to show you some screenshots. I sold on three different platforms. I mostly um, sell items on eBay and Poshmark and a little bit on Mercari. So today I'm going to show you what sold. So here's a quick summary of the box that I bought from Quick Lots. Um, I bought it on April 18th, 2020. My total price was $295 and what's great about Quick Lots um, is that they offer free shipping within the United States. So there were no other fees. It was $295 and it was a mystery box um, of basically general merchandise. They have different mystery boxes. They have mystery boxes with electronics. They have mystery boxes with apparel and I chose a mystery box that had just um, general merchandise. Um, it was delivered to me on May 3rd, so it, it took a, um, a little long in my opinion. Comparing to my delivery from Bulk.com, which was super quick, this one was a little slow. Um, so when it came in, I counted the number of items in it, and it was 111 items. So my cost per item ended up being $2.66. So if you've seen my video about the profit I made from Bulk.com, case um, then you will see that my cost per item for bulk items was a lot higher so my goal was to get to the lower cost per item so with quick lots mystery box um, I did get a lower cost per item so that was a good thing um, so let's see what actually sold out of that box and if you haven't seen the video please watch it um, and you will see that box was uh, just a complete mix of all kinds of items. Um, so there's another quick summary. So I only listed 41 out of 111 items because uh, some of them were in not so good condition. Some of them were just unbranded items that um, basically look like Amazon returns and they were not branded, and I know they're just gonna be hard to sell on any of the platforms. And some of them are seasonal, so there were some items that would be good, um, good for Halloween, there were some items um, that would be just for fall time, and maybe a couple of Christmas um, themed items, which I will probably list later, but I haven't listed them yet. So out of the 41 items that I listed, only 10 sold. Um, so this is a low number of items in my opinion to sell in 30 days, 10 out of 41, pretty low. Um, the date of my first sale was May 8th. So the first item uh, that sold out of the, that box sold pretty quickly actually. The price range of sold items, the lowest was $7.60 and the highest was $19.99. So let's go ahead and see what sold. Um, so this is my listing that was posted on Poshmark um, and it was actually cross-listed on Poshmark and Mercari, I believe, but it sold on Poshmark. So this was a Stance Triangle Crop Bra. It was uh, brand new and it sold for $12 on Poshmark. This was a cute, cute item, so it sold. Um, Let's see, this next one also sold on Poshmark. This was Gentleman's Hardware Bartender's Mixology Kit and it sold for $15. It was pretty good. And uh, those of you that sell on, on, on Poshmark know that Poshmark fees are 20%. So uh, it sold for $15, buyers will pay for shipping. 
Um, usually I offer, if I make offers to Likers on Poshmark, I will offer them discounted shipping. Um, and um, then Poshmark takes 20%. This is the sale that came from Mercari. So this was a set of coastal decor canvas prints. There were four square um, canvas prints with this coastal um, theme. So this sold on Mercari for $18. And Mercari fees are only 10%. So um, Mercari takes a much smaller chunk out of your profit than Poshmark. Then this is another item that sold on Mercari. This was um, NYX or NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. This sold for $8. So now let's move on to eBay. So the rest of the items will be my eBay sales. Um, this one sold Pretty quickly, this was my charge home and go power bank and wall charger lightning cable for iPhone. So this one sold for $19.99 plus $5.30 for shipping. And this was actually the highest selling item out of all of the 10 items that I sold. So I was happy about this one. Um, next item sold on eBay. This is Chimera Convertible. Bendo bra, and this one sold for $9.90 on eBay, plus the buyer paid $4.60 for shipping. This was original Penguin Chambray uh, Blue Baseball Cap, and it did sell pretty fast on eBay, and it sold for $15.10, plus they paid for shipping, so I consider this a good sale. So if you ever... um run across original penguin brand, it does sell pretty well. Uh, this was another My Charge portable charger, and this one sold uh, for $7.60 plus $4.60 for shipping. Um, so not a lot of profit here, but it did sell. And this item, uh, this one was the most fun one because it was a newborn arrival gift set. So to me, that was kind of nice to see. Uh, it was different from all the multiple phone chargers and phone cases I got in that box and some other random stuff. Um, this one sold for $15 and $7.84 for shipping. And this person uh, made me an offer. So she offered me $15 for it. And she said this is what her, uh, her daughter's first baby. And so I went ahead and accepted the offer from this buyer and I was happy with it. Um, this item sold on eBay for $12 and $4.60 for shipping. And this was a high definition Wi-Fi mini camera. And this was actually hidden in inside of a wall charger. So when I was unboxing and I saw this package, I thought that that was just a wall charger. <laughs> uh, and then later on, when I opened the box and Took a better look at it, I realized that that was a hidden mini camera. So I thought, well, that's interesting. Um, so I guess that's something that you can use in your house um, if you want to see what's going on when you're not there. So somebody bought it. Um, so here we are. <laughs> the total gross sales out of this mystery box in 30 days was $132.59. So this was 30 days, hopefully. The rest of the items that I listed will sell later on so I can actually make my money back eventually. Um, but in 30 days, I did not make my money back yet. So unfortunately, the items in this box will take longer to sell. I still have a few items that I'm going to list later that are seasonal. Um, some items out of this box um, I kept for myself. Some items I gave to my husband, my mom. So um, this box wasn't horrible, but lesson learned for me in this case, as I'm still learning, is that this was the second box that I bought from a wholesale liquidation company. Um, the first one was bulk. This one was quick lots. And what I learned from here is that I don't really want to buy uh, mystery boxes. <laughs> Not so much. So with bulk, I had a manifest and it was pretty accurate. So most of the items in the bulk box were manifested. 
Um, and this one, I really didn't know what I was getting. And um, so mystery boxes are basically, it's a mystery. So you, you don't know what you're going to get. And I think going forward in the future, I'll probably not going to be getting any more mystery boxes. Um, so that's just kind of my opinion on this. Just let me know what you think about that. Let me know in the comments um, if you think it's worth it sometimes to go ahead and get a mystery box. And let me know if you had success with getting mystery type boxes from other online uh, wholesale liquidation places. So this is my sales out of this box. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you so much.